guys and welcome back to another weekly challenge in Phasmophobia. This week we have Do As I Command and it says you'll have to force this ghost to give you evidence. Luckily we found some extra items to help you out. So we have to do this on full sized sunny meadows so let's go ahead and go. Alright, so we have it all evidence equipment, all items, like we are good to go. The only thing they took away from us is weak flashlights, but I doubt anybody was going to use those in the first place. Full disclosure, I have already fully completed this challenge. Uh, we did it yesterday on stream, but we got severely sidetracked doing some science with the Ouija board, so we ended up taking probably like three times the amount of time we should have to complete this challenge. So I wanted to do another one just for YouTube, uh, focus more on the challenge itself. Uh, so I do know that we have all cursed items, all evidence is turned on, uh, ghost speed is normal, I have a hiding spot right here, nice, so we're gonna go and immediately use one of our cursed possessions. I don't have the breaker on. Um, let's see. Wonder if I should go find it? Eh, we'll see, we'll see. Because first things first, check this out. Look at all of them. So there's so many ways you could play this, like this is actually a really fun challenge. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a little something here, but if you're gonna do this, make sure to move the monkey paw, otherwise you will not be able to grab it after you do this. Uh, let's just go ahead and light this up. See if it sounds like a normal speed ghost. It goes the crucifixes! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay, now run. Sounds normal speed. See if it follows me. It's following me. Definitely not a uh, yokai, I would say. Uh, definitely not a phantom, but did that kind of look like Oni Blink? That was very visible for quite a bit of time. Should I trust my gut? That is the question. Because I'm not super great at telling Oni Blink yet. I'm getting better. But I feel like that was super visible. And it's definitely just normal speed. So I'm trying to decide. Should I get hunted? One more time. Excuse me, sir. Holy hell. Because what I could do... Is take sanity pills. So the one really nice thing about this, so lighting the summoning circle is taking me down to approximately, you know, 20% sanity. Uh, so you can take sanity pills. There's 50% sanity pill restoration. So you can have so much fun with the cursed items. Uh, this might be the tail end of an EMF 5, which would check out with an Oni as well. So there's a, a drop in four. But since that is at the end of a hunt, I'd be a little bit hesitant to fully rule that as EMF 5 just yet. But, like, that definitely seemed suspiciously visible. So I'm gonna look at it one more time. And then I might just say Oni and leave. So, we're gonna use, a uh, Monkey Paw, I think. Oh! I am already being hunted again. Is it anywhere nearby us? That's the question. It's definitely not a spirit, I can tell you that much. Because <laughs> it was well before three minutes had passed. Okay, I'm not hearing it anywhere nearby. Can I go ahead and leave my... Uh, the, the smudge stick right there. I'm gonna grab monkey paw because one of the really good things about monkey paw is if you do the I wish for safety Not only will it open up a hiding spot for you nearby. It will also then Make the ghost be able to detect your location uh, From wherever it is on the map as long as you have electronics on during the hunt So I can use that to lure the ghost to my location So that can be super helpful when you're on a large map like this and the ghost is nowhere near you Cause yeah, I just want to see it hunting again. That's- that's really all I want here, just to see it for a little bit longer. I might grab an extra smudge stick, so that I can look at it for just a, l a smidgen more in case things go horribly awry. Cause there is also a chance that it could be a mimic, and it was mimicking a Oni during the hunt. So we do want to kind of double check, just to make certain. 
The problem is, is like now I want to believe it's an Oni, so I'm gonna think it looks like an Oni regardless. <laughs> so I could end up being wrong. Uh, but let's do this. So, or I could just say I wish to see the ghost. Uh, don't do that during a hunt though, because I think if you say I wish to see the ghost during an ongoing hunt, it's actually going to make the ghost like spawn and instead of doing a ghost vet it'll immediately be hunting you so don't do it during a hunt but let's do i wish to be safe so now the ghost is going to be able to find me wherever i am if i have electronics turned on at all during the hunt so it may or may not be able to make it to me before the hunt is over we'll see oh here it comes Look at that. Look at those blinks. Like, that's gotta be Oni. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Like, it's so visible. Oh, hunt's over. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with Oni. Well, let's get out of here. And since that was uh, two times in two different hunts that it looked very, very visible, I think we're good to rule out Mimic. Well, let's just get out of here. Hopefully I'm not wrong. <laughs> we'll see. Uh... Just gotta believe. Nice! I'm getting so much better at that. Oh man, that's definitely a learned skill, like, for sure. But once you start getting the hang of it, it definitely gets easier. So there's one out of three. Ooh, nice. Alright, yeah, Luke Martin now. I, I kind of like my strategy of using the monkey paw to bring the ghost to my location. Uh, so I might just do that again. And then if it turns out that it's a normal speed ghost, we can just go ahead and- Oh, I don't have a hiding spot. Don't worry, we got monkey paw for that. <laughs> God, monkey paw is by far my favorite cursed item, without a question. Like, it's the most useful. Like, there's a reason why, if you're using custom difficulty, the using- like, forcing monkey paw, uh, reduces the reward multiplier by the most amount because it is so freaking useful. So we're gonna bring this over here. I'm gonna open up my hiding spot. And then if, again, it's normal speed, we can uh, use the Ouija board to ask where the ghost is, find its location. So let's do this. Uh, whoops, no, wrong one. This one. So now we have got our hiding spot here. And every time the ghost hunts, it's going to come to my location, which can be super, super useful. Um, I could potentially use Monkey Paw to like, wish to see the ghost but the problem with doing that is that your vision will go dark for the entirety of the hunt after it does the ghost event so i might actually go ahead and use summoning circle again to force it to spawn here um we'll get this cool thing again this is gonna unfortunately drain my sanity the uh, i wish to see the ghost with the monkey paw does not drain sanity oh my god well that was odd I'm gonna smudge, I think. Cause that did not stay in there for the full five seconds, but it was also invisible. Um, but that might have been a bug. So in most cases, the only ghost that can show up as invisible in the uh, summoning circle, uh, the forced event for the monkey paw or the, um, the music box, the shade is the only ghost that should be able to do that. I have had a bug before. I've had a Gorio show up as invisible, but it did the similar thing where it didn't stay in the summoning circle for the full um, five seconds that it was supposed to. So that's that's kind of what makes me think this might be a bug and it might not actually be a shade. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, we can easily kind of test for that though. Cause like, if it worked properly, then it's a shade or a mimic mimicking a shade, but it might not have worked properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. So we're now above 50% sanity, so shade will not be able to hunt, obviously. I'm gonna take in a candle, uh, and then I'm gonna use monkey paw to wish for sanity. That's gonna bring me down to 50% sanity, but as long as I'm holding a candle, that'll prevent sanity drain. So we're gonna hold my sanity above 35% and see if the ghost hunts again. If it does hunt again, it's obviously not a shade. If it doesn't, then it might actually be a shade. 
So let's see, wish to be sane. So that's gonna bring your sanity to 50% regardless of where you were at. So if you're above 50%, it'll take you down. If you're below, or uh, yeah, if you're below 50%, it'll take you up. So I'm just gonna let me drop just a little bit. Uh, and also doing that, it doubles the amount of sanity drain you will see from standing in the dark. Uh, so you do want to be careful with that because we'll drop a lot more rapidly now. But holding the candle will prevent it. Let me just make sure because yeah, we're still kind of teetering right on the edge. So I'm gonna let myself drop just a little bit further. Okay, we are definitely under 50%, so let's go ahead and hold it there. Okay. The question is, how long should I wait to see if it hunts? <laughs> oh, okay, it is not a shade, so it was a bug. I was right to be suspicious, damn it. Actually, that's a little bit slow, isn't it? Yeah. That's slow. Do we get ourselves the twins or something? Because that kind of sounds like a slow twin. I'm gonna go ahead and wish to see the ghost. I want to hear it hunting again. So that's gonna spawn it. Still slow. The other, the other possibility is it could potentially be like a Maroi. Because a Maroi between like the sanities of like 20 to 40% will sound- actually no 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 sorry that's a bad range so from like maybe 30 to 50% it'll sound kind of slightly slow so about the same speed as a as a slow twin and then from like 20 to 30 it sounds basically normal and then from down below that it'll kind of sound like a fastish twin so let's go see what my sanity's at. If we're, at. if we're below, like, 20 to 10%, it's definitely not a Maroi, I would say. Because it still sounds slow, but look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, my sanity's actually not dropping fast at all. I don't think the rate at which it was in decreasing got doubled. Unless it's super slow on this custom, I don't know. But yeah, so at that, at that sanity, a Maroi, Maroi would sound slightly slow. So, it could still be a Maroi, so I'm gonna want to drop my Sandy even further, see if it gets faster. Because, yeah, I, th I believe we're, we're looking at either Twins or Maroi. We gotta decide which one. Because, unfortunately... Okay, it's coming. <laughs> Turn off. Because <gasps> the Maroi will always get faster, so if it just keeps getting faster and faster until we reach 0% sanity and never slows back down, it's a Maroi. Or- oh wait, I have sanity pills. What we could do is during an ongoing hunt, I take sanity pills. If it gets slower, it's a Maroi. I'm thinking about this too complicated. Is it not coming? Oh, here it comes. Okay, it kind of sounds almost normal speed now, so I'm I'm leaning towards Maroi. But yeah, let's just go grab Sandy pills. Actually, still kind of slow. Mm -hmm. 
Damn, I'm so used to not having sanity pill restoration when I do uh, challenges in Sunny Meadows. I didn't even think about it. I'm making this way too complicated. Cause yeah, look at that. Our sanity drain is so fucking slow. All right. Let's see if it gets insanely slow because this is going to restore 50% sanity. I definitely want to lure it to me with my flashlight. Because, yeah, the fact that I have yet to hear it getting faster makes me inclined to think it's Maroi. But I recently had a twin that hunted six times and was the slow twin every single time. So it's, it's not impossible to have a twin that just never does the fast twin. Okay. Ready. I feel like that was not nearly as drastic as a, of, of a change as I would have expected. I feel like it should have been super slow, because yeah, we're at 86%. Excuse me. Excuse me. But I, I do think, because like, at the, when it was coming towards me, it sounded normal speed, and then I think it did slow back down, just not as much as I thought it would. I'm gonna say Maroi, though. Let's get out of here. Two, so yeah. Okay, it's just, I, I was expecting a super drastic change, but... Anyways, yep, that's a Maroi. So you do need to be very careful with Maroi and twins, because they can play you. They can play you. But here we go, so that's two out of three, one more to go. Alright, we're here. Alright, we're here. Let's go see if I have that hiding spot open. If not, I will use the monkey paw to open it. And then summoning circle time. Like, I am actually really sad they've nerfed the summoning circle, and it looks like they're keeping it that way for a while, and I despise it with a burning passion, because in normal circumstances, I will never use it. Like, it's so utterly useless, especially if you're playing on, um, multiplayer. Because, like, it drains so much sanity. And, like, the, when you have sanity pills, it's, there's just never enough sanity to go around if you have lots of people playing and if you don't have above 80% you can't even use it properly at all and I just I, I don't like it they, they made it too harsh of a sanity drain I really wish they would take it back because I used to love summoning circle uh, but there we go I wish to be safe now I got hiding spot let's go light summoning circle see if it sounds like a normal speed ghost hopefully we don't get another bug uh, in the summoning circle where it, like, weirdly doesn't do its ghost event and looks like it's invisible, but it's just like, I don't know what the hell that is when it does that. I've seen that bug twice now. Hey! It's working! Oh, so your intestines are drooping out of your stomach? God damn it, it's normal speed. Can I please just get a non-normal speed ghost? Eh? Eh? Okay, definitely not Oni. Not Phantom. It's getting faster in line of sight. I believe that was normal speed. Otherwise it was like slightly slow and then it was just getting faster in line of sight of me. But I wanna say it was normal. Now I'm doubting myself. <laughs> no, that's a little bit slow again. Hold up, hold up. I want to hear it again. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, that's slow. I think we're looking at either twins or Maroy again. Okay, so now the question is, which cursed item do I want to use? Because <laughs> I want to drain my set. Ooh, let's use music box. God, I like having this plethora of things to like spawn once. Like this is great. Because <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna play this, hold it until my sanity hits zero, the box is gonna close and a cursed hunt is gonna start. But then I'll, I know I will be at 0% sanity. The longer you hold the music box, the more your sanity drops. So now I'm at 0% sanity. So if it's a Maroi, it will be fast. Okay, it's definitely faster. Hmm? Now, is that Maroi fast or is that just fast twin? We need one more hunt. And we're gonna bring in some sandy pills. <laughs> this is a fun way to do it. I really like this. I always think the Maroi should be faster than it actually is. Like, I don't know why. I just feel like it should be like insanely faster when you're at 0% sanity. So like in my brain, I think it's twins because I don't think that sounded fast enough to be a Maroi at 0% sanity. But I've actually been wrong about this in the past. Uh. That was suspicious. Oh, it's twins, isn't it? That's the tail end of an EMF-5. So I believe it is twins, yes. Let's go. I'm gonna trust my gut. I'm gonna trust my gut. Because like I said, I don't think that was fast enough to quite be a Maroi at 0% sanity, because I think a Maroi should be slightly faster than fast twin speed at 0%. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we had a very, very good example of the difference between twins and Maroi. Look at us go. <laughs> They're trying to trick me. So yeah, that was a really good set. Okay. As always, guys, let me know if you attempted this challenge for yourself. Let me know what strategies you decided to use. Like, there were so many different ways to do this challenge. It was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, and be sure to come back next week to see what next week's challenge is. And as always, go ahead and leave a like if you did enjoy this. It does let me know that you guys enjoy the content, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye, everyone!